Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Dodgers Roundup. Thanks for those of you who are returning from last season's World Championship run. And thank you very much for those of you who are joining me for the first time in 2021 as a new viewer. Hope you stick around for the rest of the season. All right. Uh, after the first Dodgers road trip, the boys stand at five and two. They should be six and one. And we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit more in a second. But positive news, five and two, leading the division first place. So that's very good. What else is happening on the positive side? Clayton Kershaw, who had some of the worry warts and had some of the haters come out of the woodwork when he had a shaky outing on opening day. Well, anybody can have a shaky outing, and that was proven when Clayton Kershaw came around in his second start of the season and just dominated. So he did very well in his second time, and I'm not going to panic, and I'm not going to worry about Clayton Kershaw not yet. He dominated in his second start. What else is positive? The Dodgers offense is looking very good. They are scoring runs like gangbusters. And furthermore, on that per positive note, is that the Dodgers are scoring with runners in scoring position and two out, just like last season. One of the big differences is the home run power hasn't even clicked in yet. The Dodgers are scoring, and they're scoring on rallies. Uh, home run leader Will Smith only has two home runs. It's early in the season, and we know that those home run floodgates are going to open soon. But as I say, top positive note on the offense is that they are not sitting around waiting for home runs to happen. They're manufacturing runs and getting guys over with bases, uh, uh, base hits, doubles, and even the occasional triple. So those guys are looking very good. We're not worried there. Uh, positive, uh, as far as individuals go, Corey Seager breaking out, red, blazing, hot bat. He's very good. And the other one that's looking very good, Max Muncy, of course, He's settled in quickly, and his bat is red hot. And as far as young Dodgers go, we've got uh, Gavin Lux, who our patience with Gavin has paid off as he's made the starting lineup, and he's doing very well. He's Not hurting us in the field, not like we thought he was going to anyway, and the bat is hitting Major League pitching very well. So right on Gavin Lux. Now, um, what's not happening on the positive side are uh, is one big hole that we're seeing. His name, Kenley Jansen. He had us worried last season at the end of the uh, postseason. He didn't even close out the World Series. He wasn't even the closer. By that point, Dave Roberts had lost faith in him, and he wasn't the closer. And he's not giving us a lot of reason to have faith in him to be the closer this time, Clayton Kershaw opened the season with a bad opening uh, and came back to show us that anybody can have a bad day. But what's happening with Kenley is that he's just continuing to build that even when he gets the job done, even when he gets out of the game uh, and, and holds the lead, it still is shaky and nail-biting. Uh, balls are still being hit to the warning track. And he still has us all on anxiety when he's in the game. Yesterday, he blew the save. Now, the good news on this is that there's an entire season. This is early. It's not. I'm not going to say it's time to panic on Kenley. And I really, I want Kenley to be successful. I want all the Dodgers to be successful, right? They're our team. But if he's not going to be successful, no need for panic and no need for worries because there's time. It's early in the season, and there's time to give Kenley a chance to work out his troubles, and if he can't work it out, we can replace him. He's going to blow a few saves. If he's going to lose the, the closing job, it's going to be after he blows a few saves. 
Let's let it play out that way if that's what's in the cards. We don't have to worry. He's not going to cost us the division. This Dodger team's going to win the division. But reality says we don't want to go into the postseason with this version of Kenley Jansen because he won't get us to the World Series. All right, so we're keeping one eye on Kenley Jansen. And the other eye, we're keeping on a worrisome possible injury to Cody Ballinger. He took a spike in the ankle area down around his ankle over in Oakland, and he didn't play yesterday. He's not expected to play tomorrow in the home opener. So we're a little bit concerned about what is happening with Ballinger. That's a very sensitive area down there in the ankle, Achilles tendon, all kinds of sensitive tissue down there. So we'll have to wait and see and hope that uh, Bally comes back quickly and comes back strong. So that's where we're at at the end of the first road trip. Five and two, offense looking very strong. Keep an eye on Kenley Jansen, and we'll see how the home stand plays out. And I'll probably come and see you with a new video at the end of the home stand, and we'll break the Dodgers down after that. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again soon. Peace. Go Dodgers.